Hi, it's Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I wanted to show you how to label the ISO drawing and also create a, a table for it using Excel and then bringing that table back into uh, the CAD program, which is AviCAD or it could be AutoCAD in your case. Um, so today I am working in AviCAD, which is a CAD standalone like AutoCAD and inside of it we uh, have the MetQ tools. Uh, I'll leave some links at the bottom of this video uh, to view the previous sessions. I believe there's uh, three now. Could be wrong on that number, but uh, so the first thing I want to do before I get started is I'm going to go into my drawing settings. I type in DS for that because I'm going to uh, switch to an isometric mode here it's going to allow me to uh, draw the leaders at the right angle, uh, which will make the drawing look a little bit cleaner. And as well, there's a command called isoplanes, isoplane. And I can switch views here. Um, I can go to my left view, or I can go to my right view, for example. I did show you this in, I believe, the, one of those beginning videos when I was making this custom fitting here. So have a look at that as well. That's a good way to uh, draw in ISO mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and load up MetQ, the ISO utility. And here I'm just going to come down and select the bill of materials to label the drawing. And just a couple of things to check here. I'm building my table in a downwards direction. Uh, this is only if you're creating it to the drawing. Um, so I wouldn't worry about too much about that. But do uh, make sure you've got this pick turned on if you only want to select a few uh, fittings in your drawing. And this is what I wanted to show you today was the two file option. And I've got comma delimited selected here from the drop down. So I go ahead and create the bill of materials. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick a few of these fittings. I'll pick this one. I'll pick the custom fitting we did. And I'll pick uh, this fitting over here. I'm going to press enter. And if I go into ortho mode here, uh, I'll have that straight line. And that's the reason why I turned on the ISO uh, plane option there. So I can put my first point, which is going to be my leader, where my leader starts. And the second point is going to be where my bubble begins. And I press enter. You can do the same for this one. Pressing enter after the second point, which will create my bubble. And here I'm going to create the new file. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm just going to give it the name demo here. Save it. So that's going to create a demo.txt file, for which I will uh, be opening uh, with Excel to show you what that looks like. Um, one thing that you might want to adjust is, see how these arrows are just a little bit on the small side? Well, you can adjust those using the dim style command. It's called dim style. And right here I've got a dim 1-2 selected so I could modify this and just make my arrow size a little bit larger. I'm going to go with an eighth of an inch and choose OK and then close. Now that's not going to update my arrows right away so I need to type in the following commands. So dim, update, and then all. That will uh, update all of those for me. That's going to adjust that arrow size up. Uh, if you wanted that arrow size to be closed, let me go back in the dim style again. Modify, let's do this one to be closed. So it's up here, it's called arrow filled. And I got it at a quarter of an inch, which is a little bit large. So let's just make that an eighth of an inch as well. Press OK. Close. Again, those commands are dim, update, and then the keyword all, and then enter. 
and that will update that for me. Notice here how these two bubbles have the same number. And the reason why that is, if you go back into MetQ, the utility, and you go over to BOM options, you'll be able to uh, uncheck this. If you want MetQ to keep track of fittings which are identical, but if you want every fitting to have its own bubble, then you would turn this on here. Over here, you can choose the different leader styles as well, and so forth. So, so let's have a look at that Excel file. I'm going to minimize this, and this is the one that just was created. I have LibreOffice loaded, which is uh, an Excel uh, clone, I guess you could call it. Um, so I'm going to double click on this choose the spreadsheet option here and then I just wanted to show you what this uh, file looks like here so there's the demo file here it's going to show you kind of what the way it's going to look as it's importing make sure you got the comma uh, option selected I believe that's in Excel as well and then if you wanted to you could modify this schedule like maybe uh, maybe I want to just get rid of this column and or just make certain uh, tweaks to the uh, the schedule itself and then I can uh, save it I'm going to use the CSV format here and then I'll close it so let's go ahead and change that cursor back um, so DS for drawing settings and then rectangular next I'm going to type in table style and I'm going to select standard modify here and top left for each of these I like to go to my text tab I make sure the text style is set to MetQ and the height to 1 but then I do that to each of these um, so that they're all the same. And then I choose OK and OK again. Then I create the table. Import from CSV, you want this one. I choose OK. And because I'm not seeing the, um, the file, type in star dot star to display all the files. So that's star dot star. And then choose the file. Uh, this one here that we created choose open to open the Excel file and now it's wanting the insertion point of the table so now I can just put that up here at the upper left part of the drawing you can kind of see the table a little bit better here so if I want to adjust the spacing of this text in the table here I can click on the table and then come down and you see where it says horizontal and vertical margin I can play with these values so if I type in one here it's gonna set this margin in just slightly the same thing goes for um, the horizontal margin so if I change that to one it's going to widen this whole table out for me let's say uh, some of these columns we don't want so the nice thing about this method is you can click on the column double click on the drawing ID here and then delete the column same thing goes with this one double click and then you could uh, delete this column here as well so you have total control over the table and uh, which columns and, and which rows uh, display. As well, um, if we wanted to clean up the spacing of these rows, we can do so as well. We can stretch this over this way, and we can make it so the entire um, description fits within the cell there. And then to fix the cell height here, we can just type in uh, three and a half, I believe it is and uh, that fixes the height but we can also like on this custom fitting that we did this PRV fitting we could put a size in here 
uh, and just type in six inches and kind of fill in the blanks there. Um, stuff like that is easily to, you can do. Uh, with uh, a MetQ, you can automatically create the same table. I just don't have the control that you would over a CSV, but the advantage to MetQ is it's completely automatic and there's, you don't have to really mess around with too much. There's a videos about that that I have that I will put underneath uh, so you can see how that all works. But um, uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna leave it as is for now and then we'll come back and we'll do some more practice using this ISO schematic. Feel free to request videos that uh, you would like to see uh, just by emailing uh, me directly at uh, info at cadavenue.com. Thanks and have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.